This Tuesday, Judge Brett Kavanaugh will join an elite group of jurists on the U.S. Supreme Court. On this vote, the ayes are 50, the nays are 48. Judge Kavanaugh's rise to the high court mired in allegations of sexual assault that threatened to derail his nomination, allegations he vehemently denied. Senator Susan Collins, one of the key votes in Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation, defending her decision on CNN's State of the Union. This is a case where there is an incident that happened allegedly 36 years ago where there is no corroborating evidence. And it is not fair to Brett Kavanaugh. While Democratic Senator Maisie Hirano, a member of the Judiciary Committee who helped lead the opposition to his nomination, told ABC's Jonathan Carl she doesn't view him as a legitimate justice. He's going to be on the Supreme Court with a huge taint and a big asterisk after his name. And the, the partisanship that he showed uh, was astounding. <laughs> Sergeant at Arms will restore order in the gallery. At a rally in Kansas Saturday, President Trump celebrating the victory. The Democrats have become too extreme and too dangerous to govern. That's right. Republicans believe in the rule of law, not the rule of the mob. The Republicans seem to forget what happened during the passage of the Affordable Care Act, where Believe me, the Democrats were the focus and the brunt of screams, uh, uh, coffins being left on our doorsteps, all of that. Both parties claiming the nomination battle will have an impact on the outcome of midterm elections. Tara Palmieri, ABC News, The White House.